Hey everybody, today I'm going to explain how we can create different lists in HTML. There's three different types of lists that we'll discuss today. Unordered, ordered, and description lists. For an unordered list, think of maybe a grocery list. The order of items doesn't matter. To create an unordered list, you need a pair of UL tags. UL meaning unordered list. Then between the pair of UL tags, you need a list items. LI means a list item. So we have a little bullet point. Let's create a grocery shopping list. Maybe we need to buy milk. Let's create another list item. We need another pair of list item tags. Let's buy eggs. What else can we buy? Uh, milk, eggs, bread. And what about coffee? There we are. Here's our unordered list. Each list item is bulleted. Hey, let's add a title to this list. Preceding the pair of UL tags, let's use maybe an H4 header tag. Let's say groceries. Here are the groceries I want to buy. The order doesn't matter, so we're using an unordered list. Now you can create nested lists too. Let's change coffee to coffee supplies. Then after this list item, we'll create another unordered list. Then we need more list items. So for coffee supplies, of course, we would need coffee or maybe coffee beans. Now we have a hollow bullet point. Maybe you need some creamer for your coffee and or sugar. So that's how to create a nested list within a list. Within your list, you can create another list. Now let's go over order lists. To create an ordered list, you need a pair of OL tags, meaning ordered list. Then you need some list items. What about a to-do list? So we need a list item. So number one, that's first in our list. We need to eat breakfast. I'm going to add a title too. So let's use a pair of H4 header tags. This will be my to-do list. One, we need to eat breakfast. Two, go to school or go to class. So that's number two. Number three, after class, you have to walk your dog. Then four, maybe you have to go to work. All right, that is an ordered list. Use a pair of OL tags. Then lastly, we have a description list. This one's a little more tricky. A description list is made of key value pairs. You have a term and a definition. To create a description list, you need a pair of DL tags, meaning description list. We need some terms. To create a term, you type DT, then close it. So I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Let's create some definitions for some mythological creatures, like a dragon. So that's my term. Let's create a few other terms. Dragon, Phoenix, Vampire, and Werewolf. So these are the terms. Underneath each term, we can add a definition. We'll need a pair of DD tags for description definition. I'm going to Google each of these creatures, then just paste the definition that I find. So for a dragon, I'm just going to copy this definition then paste it within the DD tags. Here's my term, and here's my definition of that term. Dragon, a mythical monster resembling a giant reptile, sometimes shown as having wings. Let's do this with our other definition terms as well. Next, we have Phoenix. Phoenix definition, an immortal bird associated with Greek mythology. We'll need a pair of DD tags. Add your definition, then close it. Here's my second description definition. Then we need vampire and werewolf. Vampire creature definition. Let's copy this. Create another pair of DD tags. Then paste that definition. Here's the definition for vampire, then lastly, werewolf. 
werewolf creature definition. An individual that can shapeshift into a wolf. So DD, close it, add that definition. And there's our definition for werewolf. So that's a description list. In a way, it's made of key value pairs. You have a term, which is represented with description term, then a description with DD, description definition. I forgot to add a title to this list. Let's do that. I'll use a pair of H4 header tags. Let's make the title Mythical Creatures. Not bad. Let's add a background color because, well, we can. I'll add a background color to the opening DL tag. So style equals background dash color. What's a good color for this? What about light green? I haven't discussed borders yet, but to add a border, you can type border colon, then a size, maybe two pixels. Then there's different borders, but let's go with solid for now. Here's a border around my list. All right, everybody, so that's how to create different lists in HTML. We have unordered lists, ordered lists, and description lists. You can style your lists as well, but we haven't really discussed much CSS yet. But yeah, those are different lists in HTML.